Welcome back, everyone. So, I decided we'd take a continue since I did watch the TV show based on this. This time, I decided to take a look at the feature film featuring the lovable chipmunks and chip pets in their first feature film released in 1987. A chip, the Chipmunk Adventures. I was going to say a Chipmunk Adventures. No, this is the Chipmunk Adventure. This is a phenomenal family film. I love every second of this. Now, I'm going to tell you a little backstory. This movie was released to home video by Universal, but apparently if you look on the side, yes, it's a Paramount movie. I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit because it was released to home video by Universal, but for some reason Paramount had the license, license to this series because of all the, because the four Chipmunks DVDs, when I reviewed the TV show, some of them were released by Paramount, others released by Bagdasarian Productions. When he put this film to Blu-ray, it was put out by Bagdasarian Productions. That bon that included a bonus feature from The Alvin Show. So you get another short that's on the DVD and the current Blu-ray. Unfortunately, that Blu-ray did not port this special feature, the original artwork from The Chipmunk Adventures, which is a probably a cool special feature because... I'll talk about the movie in a bit, but I want to talk about special features, and I'll mention why. There's some there's some deleted storyboard. There actually was going to change a few things before they decided, let's change this. But anyways, if you haven't seen this film, uh, this is a story obviously about Alvin and the Chipmunks and the Chipettes. They basically, in the beginning of the film, they're basically, uh, Dave's going to, uh, going to uh, France, I think. He has to go on some business trips, so so Miss Miller has to has to not only they have to not only that, but hires Miss Miller to babysit the chipmunks. Uh, they obviously Miss Miller does not have custody over the chipmunks. That's Dave Seville. There's, he's she's just babysitting. It's just kind of like a a favor, I think. So yeah, just that because he's on a trip and nobody's there or whatever. Anyways. So the, the chipmunks and chipettes, they head to their local arcade game to play some hot air balloon game. When they discover Claudia and Klaus, they're, they're this, this woman. You can't see who uh, Klaus is, but this woman is uh, Claudia. She's sort of the main antagonist. In fact, those two are brother and sister and the main antagonist. They have a job for the chipmunks and chipettes. If they can travel around the world to get a $100,000, but... Right whenever they do, they head on to the taxi. So, Alvin, in the film, Alvin's begging. They're, they're helping Dave pack up because he's getting ready to go on this trip. So, Alvin's like, please let me come on the trip. And he's like, oh, this is strictly for business. And just, it's just, I'm going to put the DVD down because I can't really hold it all the time. So, basically, Alvin's begging, can I go on this trip, please? Something like that. So, like I said, they're at the arcade, then they go to the hot air balloon, and that's where Claudia and Klaus are at. So, they get in that job. The chipheads have to head to Bermuda as the boys have, as the chipmunks have to head to Mexico. So, up first is the chipmunks. They land in Mexico, and they do some, like, or some, like, dance, that kind of stuff. Then we get to the chipheads, which their, uh, their hot air balloon crashes down. They're all, like, their clothes are all ripped, and like mangled and their hair is all wacky. So they find a boat. So after that we get to the chipettes and they find a boat. So basically they have to they have to go scuba diving to basically find the next item. There are dolls hidden in there, so they have to have to deliver dolls there. So their idea is and they're saying we've never went scuba diving. And it's the first time they've done that. So they find they find some they find three tanks and obviously they put it on and then they're right, jump right into the water. So basically they're in there and they find another guy who is there as well. So they head down there and basically he has the doll, locks in there, they switch the dolls. Turns out there's a shark. So there are two other bad guys. They're 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 cliche. They're they're ripped right out of I wanna say they're ripped right out of the burglars in Home Alone. I don't know. The guy with the gold tooth reminded me of Joe Pesci in Home Alone with the foil tooth. 
I don't know. They're, they're, they're kind of forgettable. So one of them finds out, like I said before, the guy with the gold tooth is there, and they basically they get the dolls there. So back to what I was saying about the chipettes. So the other guy finds an extra tank there, so goes under the water to try to get back that item. It's really cool art style. I love the idea of them. You can see like an abandoned ship, a sunken ship. Although on the, in the bonus features in the original artwork, for some reason from the storyboard art, it was originally going to be the chipmunks were going to go to Bermuda and go underwater. And that, but they, they switch it up. There's some storyboard art that shows, if you look real close, you see Alvin jumping right into the water. So originally, I think the writers wanted to have the chipmunks do that scene where they're trying to get the treasure underwater. I don't know. I guess the writers felt like it was necessary. Like, oh, we got the chip bats. Let's see how they look good. Let's see how one of them look, oh, one of them look good. And the weird thing is... It's weird how Brittany, Brittany Miller is in a bikini and Janetta and Eleanor are, are wearing a one-piece swimsuit. It's just so weird. I guess the writers want to have sort of eye candy, I guess. It's, it's so strange. But back to what it is. So basically, Brittany... How to explain? She actually... There's a shark in it, though. So the shark just chases. Just it's cr Craziness ensues. So stuck there. So they get out of the water, thought they were goners. And then we get to another scene. We get some great songs in though. Like the song Obviously the World, which is just beautiful. To be honest, the whole movie has some great the backgrounds are so good. The animation's so good. So I'm gonna kinda speed through this a little bit. I'm trying to analyze this a little more. So they eventually meet back up with each other. So Alvin finds an apple thinking, okay, I'm going to grab an apple and, I guess, eat it. But they're yanking and yanking and yanking and they're saying, we can out rock and roll you. It's just so good. And then they sing the, the, the boys and girls of rock and roll. Another great song. To be honest, the best part is, if honestly, I didn't think the songs in the TV show were that bad, but the songs in this are fantastic. Who did the songs? I don't know. Some of them were written by, um, from what I've read online, the person who wrote, the woman who wrote Boys and Girls of Rock and Roll was the woman who wrote, I think, Olivia Newton-John's Physical. I could be wrong about that. So, so basically, that's, that's what, it, that's what happened. So, I'm kind of reading what it is, though, on the back, though. Yeah, Claudia and Klaus, they're, yeah... Yeah, they're, yeah, that's right, they're two convicted crooks. They're basically con artists. I forgot, they're, the, yeah, the, the both of them are, are con artists. So, yeah. They're kind of cliched, so Dave's like there, and all of a sudden they're like doing this, he's spinning around, and she literally kicks the one, one burglar. I'm just going to call them burglars, because they are. The other guy goes down, and Dave just goes falling down. It's great, though. I was sitting there chuckling. Some good songs. There were some songs that were bad. So, I, I forget what else. So, basically, they go their separate ways again. So, the ship bats get, get kidnapped. No, they get, they, get, they get trapped, and they fall into a trap, and then they head to Egypt, where they meet a prince who thinks that they're going to marry him, and then they basically become gypsies, I think it is. Yeah, they become gypsies. So they, we get another good song. They get a, they see a baby penguin. So they're dancing with these sit, with these snakes though. And the song's called "Get Lucky." Not to confuse with the Dot Punk song "Get Lucky," but it's a different song. So yeah. So they find out they don't know what the dolls are. So they get out and they trick the snakes. They tie the two snakes and use them as ropes, and they head down. And then they go up there. The chipmunks head to. They basically sleep in sleeping bags, but they head out to, uh, they head out to, um, uh, I forget where it's at, some, like, village tribal. So, so Alvin is, like, show them off the shirts, you can buy these products, so what do all three of them do? Well, so, well Theodore gets kidnapped by one of the, one of the tribal leaders. The both of them get kidnapped, and all of a sudden, yes, they're wearing loincloths.
how cliche, how crazy that is. Is like, nice trick you did, Alvin. Like, karma always comes back to these characters. Karma literally comes back to all these characters, and that's what makes Chimunk's, Chimunk Adventure special. So they get out, then they head back to America, and we get another great song called, oh, Wooly Bully's other song. I forget what they say. The name Americans pronounce is Wooly Jolie, and it's like, Wooly Jolie? You mean Wooly Bully? And I gave it a shot, and then we get another song there. I'm trying to mention all the songs. So the, the I think before that, the Chipmunks, they get the baby penguin back, and it's a touching song. That song I kind of didn't like, but I guess they wanted to have sort of a sad song. Kind of like when I mentioned in the Chipette story, they won in that episode, Alvin um, and Chipmunks episode, Chipette story. They kind of wanted to have a sad song, and I kind of agree with that, and I kind of don't. But yeah. Here I think it works better than some, like, the Chipette story with with the sad song. So I, I kind of get that. But here in Chipmunks Adventures, it kind of does work. But... Regardless, regardless, whatever it is, all the songs are great. So they head back to America. Klaus and Claudia are chasing them in the airport while the song Diamond Dolls. Interesting fact before I continue the review Danny and Anucci, Ed and Eddie fame, started out doing the storyboard. He actually started out as one of the animators in this film. Yeah, Danny and Anucci, the guy who created Ed and Eddie, one of my child, one of my favorite, favorite Cartoon Network shows. Did the animation on this. But anyways, let's like I said, they get there, and I'm not going to give away the ending. So, obviously, if you've seen this movie so many times, I don't really need to give away the ending. So, like I said, the one special feature on this is original artwork. I kind of I kind of wish they had the Chipmunks to be in Bermuda and the Chipettes to be in Mexico. That would have been cool, because I would love to have seen the chip the Chipmunks go scuba diving to this. Or maybe they could have, maybe if they would have stuck and did all six of them together to try to do that, and then all six of them went in the ocean, it probably would work. So, I like that scene. Don't get me wrong, that's a really cool scene. And if you're in, if you're fascinated with ocean life like I am, that scene is great. I, I still love it. So, that's all that I'm going to say about this film. I'm not going to give away anything else. I'm not going to show you how it ends. I think I mentioned. I think I got most of it right. So, are there any negatives? I thought the two side villains, not Claudia and Klaus, but the two other henchmen. Yeah, the burglars. I'm just going to call them burglars. Henchmen, whatever you want to say. They were kind of pointless. And it's like, they're just total cliche. They're ripped right out of 80s television. So... That's all I could say. So the final verdict is, and my final verdict is that you should see Chipmunk Adventures. So the final verdict is, should you see the Chipmunk Adventures? And my answer is, absolutely. If you're a fan of the TV show, or if you thought the TV show wasn't good and you wanted to see a feature film based on this, you might like it no matter what. If you've never seen a TV show, check the movie out. If you like the TV show and you want to see their first feature film and you saw those previous two Chipmunk directed videos, which are sequels, you might want to see this before you go watch that. They're they're total they're they're two different things, but I think it's a great movie. This was a hard title to find. I had a copy that was scratch, then I sold it for a copy that's better. And I my copy has sold just like that. So this tells you that this is kind of sought after. There are a lot of movies I feel they're sought after. I don't count them as rare. I count them as more sought after. Like, I don't consider a bad movie rare. I just, I don't buy bad movies. I buy classics like this. I forgot to show you the disc art. And as you can see right here, is there anything on the back? No. As you can see right here, uh, right here, it says... I'll just show you really quick. The Adventure Awaits You, www.chipmunks.com, which is actually still a viable website. Let me see if I can find another DVD. Hang on, guys. Uh, yeah. Whenever I said, I'm, I'm showing this again. I'm not reviewing this again. You can check out that. 
it says right here, Chipmunks, it says, Adventure awaits you, www.chipmunks.com. Look for Club Chipmunks, games, video clips, audio clips, exclusives, and more. And as you can see, cover right back to Star in Productions. Which is kind of weird, but there's the disc for you. Although, weird enough, this is actually the poster art. Yeah, you actually get poster art. I don't know if you can see that right there. Now, I said again that chipmunks.com, is it still a viable website? And the answer is yes, www.chipmunks.com. So as I'm making this, this website does still exist. I'm not reviewing this website, but if you want to check out the website for yourself, you can go ahead and do that. Um, yeah. But anyways, compared to what it is, though, this is actually a very fun film. But if you haven't seen, if you haven't seen the TV show, and you want to see my review, you can go ahead and do that. Though uh, an interesting fact is, I'm going to kind of bring this DVD back up again. Notice how it says "Bag the Star in Productions" right here. But if you look at the disc, I don't know why I'm doing this again. You get the "Bag the Star in Productions" with the '60s uh, Chipmunks logo. It's just kind of weird that they still use that logo, but not use the new ones on the disc. Obviously, the logo is present right here. And I, I like how it says, digitally remastered for the original 35mm film. It might have been cool for 2006, but honestly, I don't really spot a difference. It is available on Blu-ray, but that's even sought after. Chipmunks DVDs are not easy to come by. Similar to when I met, similar to Reading Rainbow DVDs, those are not easy to come by. And there's a lot of stuff that's not. But I like how, if you look on the disc, it says, shows back to Star and Productions with the 60s Alvin look. But I'm not reviewing the show again, I'm reviewing the movie. But I'm just rambling. In fact, in fact, go watch both of these. Go watch the show. Go watch the movie. Go watch anything Chipmunks. There's a new show that's on Nickelodeon, which is actually somewhat decent. I, I like the design. As a matter of fact, I don't have my phone over there, but two years ago on Halloween, I dressed up as Alvin for Halloween. Yes, I was dressed up as Alvin for Halloween as a Halloween costume because I had an old co-worker years ago who said, you should dress up as Alvin. When they were selling those DVDs at my local giant store, which I never bought at the time. Because I, I thought, oh, well, it's Ruby Spears. And I was like, Ruby Spears made this. They're the same people who made the Mega Man cartoon. Yeah. And I'm going to mention this real quick. Ruby Spears, actually, the two guys, Joe Ruby and Ken Spears, both of them passed on by COVID-19. The coronavirus killed both of them, if you are curious. That's why that company went out of business. But yeah, I'm rambling. I shouldn't be talking about the show, but if you want to see my review of the show, it is available on my it is available on my uh, YouTube page, so you can just watch it there if you want to. But <sighs> that's it. Like I said, go watch the show. Go watch Chipmunk Adventures. Just go watch anything Chipmunks. You'll you'll enjoy the show like I did. So that's it. I'm rambling. If you did like it, let me know what you think of Chipmunk Adventures. Did you think the show was uh, good? Did you not show? Did you think the movie was good? I know a lot of people were obsessed with this movie, though. My, I just, I mean, I the first time I ever watched this film was, was with my niece, and she loved the hell of it. Yeah, she just obsessed with it. She watched it seven times. And I was like, sweetie, we got the TV show. I got the TV show we could watch. And she just loves that movie. I have the TV show if you want to watch that, sweetie. But I was like, it was a good time. So the so Chipmunks Venture is actually my eighth time watching. She watched about seven times. She would wake me up at nine in the morning. I'm like, all right, I'm getting up, sweetie. Go ahead and watch it. Have fun. It's a great movie, though. Like I said again, some flaws, some non-flaws. Pick your poison. If it's something you want, something you want to check out, check it out. And that's it. Uh, that's it for this episode and this review. Go watch Alvin Chipmunks. 
whatever one you want. New show, direct to videos, uh, the TV show, the movie, whatever. Just go watch it. All you have to do, just like with Back to the Future, is just watch the movies. Just watch the movies. So that's it. I'm rambling. That's all I have to say. So that's it. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next review with something else.